Hello and welcome to Let's Play 2 2013. This is 2K and this is TNA episode 22 aka Genesis 2014. Uh, let's let's get going. Started off with some some action here. Kenny King and Austin Aries. But King over. I guess we could keep Austin strong, but whatever. I know I don't really want to upset him, but come on now. Chavo and Gargano. And we're going to put Gargano over in an open all-out match for the X Division title. And keeping with this X Division the beginning of the show thing. Shelly, Sabin. And we kind of need Shelly to go over because we're going to need someone to take on. Um, Gargano. But at this moment, we'd like it to be Sabin because we'd like to keep the feud going. Um, Abyss and AJ. And I'd like this one to actually have AJ get the win due to interference by Abyss or fr from Abyss. Um, oh, Kurt can't do it. So then, no, it's got to be Abyss. And it what's going to be a terrible match. Why can't Kurt do it yet? Oh, he's on vacation. Oh no. Oh no. I guess it's Sting and Magnus versus Beer Money. have a one of our big matches which would be what Batista booking Batista way too much on this channel right now this is killer still open slow build flash Batista kept strong. Damn it. Tista gets a win. You know what? I want Steel to be kept strong. Let's build him up. And a inexplicable ladder match that was not booked with. All right, 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 right. I remember how I was going to handle this. The return of Generation Me and the debut of the Wolves in an awesome opening all out match. To start the show. Either this here then, because it'll get picked up. So now it's a four team ladder match. 
with the wolves being involved the bromance bad influence um, Gaijin all-star and his main man John Thriller and win that in their first pay-per-view boom and you have a 16 minute Jeff Hardy versus Samoa Joe match to end the show open slow build decisive for that world heavyweight title Beth versus Gale for the knockouts title. Gale can take it. So Abyss destroys AJ Styles. Batista and Steel Brawl to the back. Did I bring in I don't know if I did. I don't know if I did bring in a new ombre to play Ombre Uno. But I know what I can do is go with a pretty quick Kong and Kim start that back up. Post-match handshake. What about Aries and King? Hyping Joe versus Hardy. And I guess since Joe's going over, we should really start planning towards the next storyline here. Um... After this, I believe, what's our next pay-per-view? Against All Odds? That's not, I mean, that's nothing special. So, we could really keep the Jeff Hardy one going if we wanted to. Or we could build someone new into it, but I don't really see anyone new getting involved unless it's Batista and I don't really see Batista getting Batista's title shot getting good grades anyway so we'll keep it how it is let's run this show hopefully it does better I mean B minus has been our Yes, so far I think so let's hope it beats it. 
Yeah, these. I'm happy. Oh wow, that was terrible. Sting was terrible. Sting's probably get it written out soon. Kim beat Phoenix and they didn't click and it was bad. Kong attacks Kim. Seemed like a good match. King beating Ares. Ares going up being like, you got me, man. But King just... Nope. And then Johnny Gargano winning the X Division title. Something that would actually make me care about it, TNA again. Pretty decent match. Saban versus Shelly. There you go. Abyss beating AJ Styles and then beating, continuing to beat AJ Styles. Batista versus Steen was terrible. But they're great in angles together. A pretty good match that leaves the American Wolves the new tag team champions. A decent hype up. A pretty good match there. Yeah, we'll continue that feud for a little while. Oh yeah. And we'll let Jeff and Samoa Samoa Joe know that they they did good. Speaking of good, thanks for watching. Have a good one.